Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some improvements to dynamic parameters, specifically the ability to use a particular column to set the min and the max value when the workbook opens. Now, typically I should be doing this video on Tableau desktop, but Tableau in the browser is getting really, really good. So I'm actually gonna do this demo in the browser. Yes, that's right. We're gonna do this in the browser. It's pretty much the same in desktop. I'll show you how to do that after I've done it in the browser for those of you who still use desktop, but let's check out how that's done. Hey, it's Tim here. Just a quick one before the video. 95% uh, of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. And I've got about 7,000 subscribers. They only represent 5%. So join that group you know, join that exclusive group, subscribe, and try and get the subscriber numbers up on my channel. It'd be really, really great for me. Thank you. So I'm gonna go here to samples uh, in Tableau Online. I'm gonna go to SuperSaw Dataset. I'm gonna hit new here and just start with a new workbook. In order to show you this, I need to build a very basic view. So let's go ahead and do that just so we have something on the visualization that we can work with. Let's bring in sales and let's bring in category on color just to give it a little bit of color. And the thing I wanna do next is bring in order date and we want this to be a continuous month just so this is okay. And then we wanna make this a bar chart because this is an ugly bar uh, chart even. And what I might do is, you know, this is a bit noisy. I'll just bring that back to category and then that's a lot better. Now, the thing I wanna do here is add a dynamic parameter. Now, if you've ever worked with Tableau, you'll know that parameters are really, really powerful. They allow you to basically add user-defined values into calculations or into the view so that you can change things on the fly based on a question you're trying to answer. Now, in this case, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually gonna create a parameter using the order date, the thing that I've already got here. So I'm gonna right click on order date, then I'm gonna to go to create. And you can see here on the bottom option, I have the ability to create a parameter. Let's go ahead and do that. That, you get this nice interface. Now, the great thing is I'm in web edit here and you know, a long time ago, this was just not possible. This level of parity between desktop and web edit just didn't exist. So let's go ahead and see how we can change the min and the max value based on a column when the workbook opens. Now in previous versions, they actually added this ability to set the default value. So what we can now do is you can see there's an option here for range. So let's go ahead and hit range. And what we can do is when the val when, when the workbook opens, you can just basically uh, choose this current value or we can actually change this and make this slightly different, okay? So let's change this. So when the workbook opens, okay, I'd like to feed this min and max based on the order date, okay? And you can see this ticks these two, but they're grayed out because of course, we're not gonna be able to change these manually. Tableau is gonna change them for us, but it's gonna be using the order date here. And this is a really, really nice feature. Okay, you can also set things like the step size. I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna let the users use this how they like, but that's pretty much it. We've got our order date parameter. So we can go ahead and click okay. And if I go ahead and show that parameter, you can see that it's now there. So it's basically looking at the data set and it's going to the very first record it finds and actually using that. So the first record here is on the January 2015. And you can see here that it's going there to the 3rd of January. If I actually go down here, here today, we can actually find the very first transaction. And we can see here that it is actually the 3rd of January. I can't actually select it, but it is it, it is there. I promise you it's just right there. Um, so that's a really, really great feature. You can actually go all the way to the end of the data set here, 2018, which is where the data ends. And again, it goes to December 2018. So that parameter is actually dynamically looking at the field and only letting me pick the min and the max based on what's in the data set. Okay, so that's how that's done in the browser. Let's switch over to Tableau Desktop and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so we're here in Desktop. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna to connect to Superstore EU uh, this time. So I'm gonna click on the Save Data Source. If you're in America, just connect to the American Data Source, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and build exactly the same chart. So sales on rows, and we're going to bring uh, the order date on columns and we're gonna choose the uh, continuous month just to give us a little bit of context. We're gonna drop category on color. So if I go to the product here, open that hierarchy and put that on color, we get this and I'm gonna change this to a bar chart on the marks pane and now we have this ready to go. I'm actually gonna create the parameter in exactly the same way so you can just see that there's no difference really. So right hit on the order date, go ahead to create, 
create a parameter and we get a slightly different interface. Of course, this is the desktop interface rather than the web interface. Now, what I can do here is I can again choose a range and I can get set values from order date. Okay, so this sets it from order date. But what I can do, like I did in the browser, is when the workbook opens, I want you to use the order date. You see it ticks the exact same fields there. And now we're ready to go. So if I click OK, and then I show that parameter, you can see that that parameter is now there and it's loading dynamically from that field. Now, I haven't actually implemented this parameter to do anything on this dashboard. I just want to build something so you can see that it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Again, if I go here to the day and we go to the min uh, value here, you can see it's the 1st of January 2017, which is the first value there. And the very last value is 2020, 31st of December 2020. Uh, and that's actually all the way over here, just underneath my face. If I move that there, we can just hover over that last sort of uh, item here and you can see that's the last record. So there you go. It's working it's really really good and every time the data source updates every time the workbook opens it will automatically choose those min and max values so the user can never choose a value that isn't available in the parameter that's just great it's just a nice quality of life improvement that we can count on and the important thing here is this is available both in desktop and in the browser go check it out if you've enjoyed this video you know what to do if you haven't um, hit the dislike button twice let me know what you'd like to improve in the comment below and i'll catch you in the next video